So what happens when you go one nil down? Who's gonna who's gonna organise you? It's got to come from yourself. So you need to be more vocal, all of you. Okay. Yeah. But well done today. Really good work. I'm delighted to say with us now is AFC Wyndham's latest academy development coach, John Meads. Great news to see you down here, part of the academy. Give us in detail how this came about. Well, obviously, with the uh, disappointing news about retirement, I was thinking about going to coaching. I've always in, enjoyed it and been admired from the academy from afar for a while. So, um, as soon as the news came out, I spoke to Jeremy, and uh, it uh, all happened quite quickly. With us as well as head of academy, Jeremy Sawyer. Jeremy, I mean, it's important to say, isn't it, that this isn't just about John Meads joining the coaching staff. This is important for the lads that he's going to be working with too. We've sat down, so Meezy came in sort of middle of August, I think it was, yeah. um, and has done a couple of weeks trial really just to see whether it worked out for him and whether he could commit to it and then we've offered him a formal role now. Um, the next month we're going to sort of spend across different age groups, getting some contact time and just seeing where his, his strengths lie and what suits him and where he enjoys the most. Um, we've said quite strongly like it's a job, like it has to be a job and I think the most thing that Michael and I, Michael had a coach in, we were impressed with that, that means he really wants to learn and he really wants to get involved and throw himself in. So we're quite enthused by that and uh, already he's having an impact on some of the players. I've just stood in there and watched him talk to one of our strikers here in the under 18s and it was spot on. He's done it with the under 14s as well who I've been working with a little bit over the last couple of weeks. And it gives a voice that um, potentially us as coaches we can't do because he's coming straight out of the first team, ex-pro, which we haven't got many of in our academy either, uh, and he's able to paint pictures that players instantly have that respect for and add value and add that weight, which, um, you know, it's been different for us, it's been a different dynamic and, and Meaty's done really well with it, so we're quite excited. John, tell us about your coaching journey because this, this is a part of your next stage in your life now, yeah? Yeah, so uh, uh, when you're a youth team level, you do a U level 2, which is quite basic. So um, my next progression now is to do UEFA B, and I've looking down if an avenues to do that, and hopefully that'll be in the pipeline very soon. And now, yeah, it's just getting experience working with these guys, um, all really good coaches. So I'm trying to learn and feed off them as much as possible because it's just the start of the journey for me. So, um, yeah, it's really exciting. And Jeremy, I mean, what with the football industry being as it is, there's such a great turnover of players. There's so many great players that have had to step out, unfortunately, mm. due to injury. I mean, somebody like Jack Collison springs to mind as well, mm, who, sure. who've gone into coaching. And yeah, yeah, yeah. this is hopefully this is what, what John will be able to do next. We would love that. We would love that. Our players are getting a hell of a lot out of it. And um, from my experience, from Robbo's experience, from Mark's experience, we can see a really good coach in the making here. Sorry to speak about you. <laughs> <That's next year. laughs> um, but, but I think there's a great future there for him. And, and I think he's got... Uh, You've got a great platform here to, to try and see where you fit best with it and we're going to try and give him as much of them as we can possibly and, and as long as our players are getting the most out of it that's the most important thing so yeah for me obviously um, there's not much experience from my bar so just a big thank you to the academy and jeremy for giving the opportunity so i'm really like hopefully i can be a big asset to the club and the academy and add something different like jeremy said so in the immediate future that's what we're trying to do the, the most refreshing thing if i'm honest rob is that we've worked, we've had ex-professionals before in an involved in the academy and in all honesty, sometimes not all of them want to learn. They don't want to actually do the hard graph. They don't want to work with the under nines. That, that's, that's beyond them. And, and we just don't get that vibe from me. He really wants to throw himself in and he wants to do that apprenticeship properly. And, and that's quite exciting and refreshing. And that's the important thing for you, John, this morning. I mean, you're here with the 18s this morning, but you're going to be learning from every aspect of the academy, yeah? Yeah, I'm under, under no illusions. I haven't got much coaching experience. And as a player, you kind of do the sessions, but sometimes you don't take on board all the all the little things that go on so um, yeah I'm learning all the time I think the next six months to a year is going to be a huge learning curve for me and I'm just going to try and feed off these guys. We're working with Mark Robinson this morning I mean he's had FA Youth Cup success against the likes of Watford and Newcastle helped produce players like Dan Agee, Will Nightingale like that over the years so he's somebody you could benefit from as well. Yeah? Hugely uh, it's not just the players they've produced it's the type of football they play as well I've I've been down on Saturdays and seen them play in the mornings and the type of football they play is really really Exciting, so that's kind of what I want to be part of. Um, I, I, the academy football is has got some sometimes got a bit of a bad press, but here these guys do a huge, amazing job, and they've done, like you said, good runs in the in the, um, the FA Youth Cup. This morning, we spent a bit of time with your new development phase coach, uh, John Meads. It's his first day at work. It's good to see, and uh, you've got good hopes for him. Yeah, yeah I, I always believed that that within any youth setup, you should try and. You know, have a connection with the club. You should always try and have, have one or two of the uh, ex pros in there if you can, and, and just to give, you know, even just sometimes from their experience, they can pass on stuff. So, Meads is a bright lad, always has been. He's, I've had him around me since he was 14 years of age. So, a lot of them good sessions he'll be putting on from there, he probably nicked from me.